I think that uh, if we get what we would really like, which is compulsory microchipping, um, then that would be a huge benefit for dogs generally. Mm. But from the Kennel Club's point of view, that's really that's largely about making sure that dogs get back to their owners if they get lost. So for us, that's the number one benefit. Um, in terms of the Dangerous Dogs Act and, and identifying dogs and so on, there aren't that many cases, even in the case of John Paul Massey, where the dog and the owner are not linked together already. So the, the microchip in those sort of cases isn't actually going to make a great deal of difference. Mm. Ryan, oftentimes uh, when we talk about dangerous dogs we also refer to irresponsible ownership as well. Um, will irresponsible owners bother to get their dogs microchipped anyway? Well I think to be honest even if they did it doesn't prevent a dog attack so I think microchipping or permanent identification is one element of being a responsible owner but ultimately I think what everybody wants and I include owners of dogs in this is a reduction and an end to dog attacks particularly fatal dog attacks on children so what we have to be concerned about is that the government stops short of reforming the 1991 Dangerous Dogs Act which is a terrible law that seeks to determine certain breeds as being inherently dangerous and therefore worthy of a ban so what we want is good that the government is saying we want to do something but what we don't want them to do is stop short of actually reforming the law enough to make sure but owners are responsible for the behaviour of their dogs. But a good place to start, at least. The absolutely, to go forward, it, absolutely. It's, it's a, anything that makes owners be more responsible okay. is a good thing. Why are you against banning dangerous dogs? Because if there isn't any way of ensuring that an owner is responsible or any way of actually preventing a dog attacking, because it can happen with any breed, then you can see the sense of people saying, well, if you're going to be bitten by a dog, Better it's a West here, a Chihuahua, mm. than me here. You know, it's a good question. And if I honestly thought that banning breeds was the right thing, this breed, for example, mm. I would be happy to say, OK, take the dog and let's never have them. But that wouldn't solve the problem, unfortunately. I think Why where, not, so? Well, wherever breed-specific legislation has been introduced, it hasn't worked. Yeah. And I think the problem you is... You never hear of attacks from, from those sort of breeds causing death or mourning, do you? But that's because you don't hear about it. And, and it may not be death, but they certainly can cause just as much damage um, from plenty of other breeds. But mm. we don't hear about it because it isn't a so-called dangerous dog. Mm. Ryan's absolutely right. This is a, it's a pointless law because we have more pit bulls now than we've ever had mm. and they are a banned breed. Yeah. So surely what we should be doing is looking at people's, behave, people's behaviour mm and stopping dogs, stopping dogs in their tracks the moment we see a problem arising rather than waiting until the dog has actually bitten somebody and caused a problem.